guest. We are back in San Francisco. Our kid is still home for another week or so, so we are continuing our deep dive into uh, our own backyard. And we found something that's actually been here for 10 years. I can't believe we hadn't noticed and it we, before. We only noticed it because in, when we were in the top of Coit Tower, I looked out and I saw this little boat that looked exactly like the pickle boats or the aquabus from Victoria of Vancouver. And then we start walking around and we see this San Francisco water taxi. And we took it and it was like 10 minutes. It's an absolutely gorgeous day. It's supposed to be up, up over 70 degrees Fahrenheit today. And we were dropped off at Hyde Street Pier. And we are planning to meander our way back along the Embarcadero, hitting the cannery and uh, the dreaded Pier 39 of Fisherman's Wharf. And then uh, later on, what are we doing, Zeke? Later on, we are going to be sentenced. Sentenced? To, to Alcatraz. <gasps> are we going to try to escape from Alcatraz? No, I'm not swimming back from Alcatraz. I'm going to take another boat back from Alcatraz. Well, I'm looking forward to a really great day. We've had a bit of a rough week. Um, we may be empty nesters, but our lives still kind of revolve around our kids and their schedules. And this week has been a little challenging. Here we go. And speaking of sentences, you should subscribe to our channel. This is a little houseboat and it's referred to locally as an ark and it was one of several dozen boats moored out as summer hideaways for San Francisco families in Belvedere Cove near Tiburon in Marin, Marin County just across the bay. That sounds absolutely lovely. The boats apparently were all painted brightly and glowed at night with colorful Japanese lanterns. Oh, how fun. Yeah. So just around the entrance doors are two inch thick panels carved out of Vermont slate through the work of Sergeant Johnson, the first African American artist on the West Coast to gain national fame. He was also the only black artist on the Federal Art Project in Northern California. So the actual mermaid uh, sailed by Kenichi Hori in 1962 from Osaka, Japan to San Francisco uh, is displayed. It's pretty incredible. It does say on one of the signs that he plans on sailing until he's a hundred. He's in a blue zone. <laughs> So this too was an unexpected stop. I thought Ghirardelli Square was a little bit further away from Hyde Street, but since we ended up going to the Maritime Museum, I thought, what the heck? I don't think I've been here in 20 years. That may have been the last time I had a hot fudge Sunday here. I'm not sure I've ever been here, and uh, being middle-aged and all those type of things, I don't think my doctor's gonna let me come back. <laughs> Tell you what decade I last had a Ghirardelli hot for Sunday. If you're coming over to the wharf not on a water taxi, you can take the cable car. And the cable car turnaround is right here. It's the Howell Street to Hyde Street uh, cable car. It's eight bucks one direction, $13 yeah. for the day. Down to, and this one will take you straight to Union Square. When were you last on a cable car? I think I was in high school. Yeah, I think it's. Our heads are pretty much re reeling. We just spent time in the San Francisco Maritime National Park Visitor Center, and I think I still got that wrong, but. It you is, know what I mean. It's part of. It's run by the National Park Service. It is free to the public. It is right on Fisherman's Wharf. It looks tiny from the outside, but it's huge on the inside. And they have a Fresnel lens of the original uh, Fairlawn Islands 
uh, lighthouse, which is huge. It has extensive history of San Francisco, San Francisco port, the, the ship building industry from, you know, since the early 1800s. They have all that information and they have people there. Walk in and talk to the people. They will tell you everything you need to know. It's outstanding. So park ranger Christopher and park ranger Mel were amazing resources. And Zeke, I was reminded that you lately have been going up and just asking questions and- I'm too lazy to read all the placards and I'm too lazy to take notes as well, but <laughs> fascinating folks to talk to. They love their jobs. They know way more than I'll ever know. And, and it was we, great. And we got like five more places to go visit in the Bay Area. Amazing history. And But now we're gonna jump into another uh, little known thing. Let me see if I can get it right here. The this Academy little... of Art University Gallery. So we wanted to pop into the cannery and the cannery building is right behind us. It's the original Del Monte cannery building that has burned down, been reconstructed. It's, it's um, basically a mall with a bunch of restaurants and stuff like that. It's... And has been since I was coming here yeah. in the 80s and 90s. seen any but uh, well know. we'll we'll see that because on this side of the fair building all of the piers are odd numbers and going south they're all even numbers so if you are confused as to which way things go just remember towards Golden Gate Bridge odd towards the Oracle Stadium it's even and I don't know if you can notice in the background but Carl Carl is making himself or itself known I I'm now kind of concerned about just how foggy Alcatraz is going to be. Classic San Francisco summer. <laughs> clam chowder in the sourdough bread bowl, which we had planned on doing just to have something that's quintessentially San Francisco. But we went to Skomas instead and had a little higher end experience. Are you sad about that? No, not <laughs> And then there's also the, there's a submarine right here on this pier, which I think is Pier 45. It's the USS Pompanito World War II submarine. It was closed when we got here. Uh, but it's still really cool to see all the different military ships and submarines that are all right here. Lots of it. Okay, we saw the sea lions check. Usually, the, the, I've been hearing that there were like hundreds of them there and upwards of a thousand at one point. I think there may have been 20 or 30, not very many. More people than the sea lions. Uh, the sea lion look at. And looking right behind us, you can see the fog. And Alcatraz. And Alcatraz. We're getting closer. We're about a half an hour away from getting on the ferry. There is supposed to be a produce stand somewhere around here on Pier 39. I think that would be about the only other redeeming thing of value would be a produce stand the sea lions and the view of Alcatraz. Yeah, we, although the waffle coat smelled really good, I'm not going for that.
top where the cell audio guy tour is. And uh, they warned us when we got into line when we got off the boat, but I wonder if people knew when they could when they signed up, what they were signing up for. Well, also classic tourists, there's a bunch of people here with t-shirts and shorts on, and you're like, it's summer in San Francisco, is this not, is this not no, just this a universal summer. thing? Welcome to The Rock. Hey, one of my favorite movies is from The Rock. All right, we're gonna do some video while we're doing the audio tour, included in the uh, price of the ride over here. And we'll see, uh, see you at the other end. Mm -hmm. All right, we found ourselves a windbreak out here and we uh, figured out why they named it Il de la Alcatresis, which translates to pelican or a garnet, some right. sort of seabird. Yeah, island of all the freaking birds. Island of the birds. And we found all the birds that are still here. It's pretty insane. So I think the couple of times that I've been here, it hasn't been nearly as crowded. And even though you wear your headphones and you have your own experience, it's hard to get in to see, or at least tonight, to get in to see some of the the specific spots where it's like stop at cell block 113 and stop at cell block 151 and like 30 people are standing in front of it. So maybe once again, it's just summertime and we are experiencing things at during the high season. Uh, which is why as empty nesters, if you too are an empty nester, try to find a time that, that is not during the high season. I'm never going to be the same again. I'd recommend. I'd recommend it. Great views of the city. Uh, it's an interesting tour. It doesn't take a long time. We were only over there for about 90 minutes. So we came back. You know, the night tour, if you want a night-night tour, which we didn't do because it was going to be difficult to get video footage, um, you got to really go later. Um, and you could have stuck around for another couple hours, but... There really wasn't anything to do. After a while, yeah, it was kind of limited. It's not like there's a cafe or anything. Uh, up there right. hang out. Yeah. yeah. 
so would I recommend it? I don't think I will recommend it as wholeheartedly because for the two of us to do this it was about $140 and I kind of think that maybe some of the other museums would be better although from the historical perspective getting a, a, a ride on a boat on the bay is nice if it's a nice day then you can have beautiful beautiful views of the Golden Gate Bridge and of San Francisco so let's say I have a mixed recommendation if you're on a budget and you want to do a bay tour and you want to do some sort of the national park and get some great pictures I think this is this is a good thing to choose and next week we are going to be in Washington DC so stay tuned for that and we will see you on the other side of the country <laughs> De la Alcatraces, which apparently translates to some sort of penguin or garnet. No, pelican, not penguin. Penguin. <laughs> okay, let's go.